Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today is March 8th, 2019, and this is our episode number 440. If you've been following along, we have been looking at Metallurgica Gerdau for the last two episodes. So far, so good. Uh, also, you might know that the way we do this is a kind of like negative screening. So we try to find reasons to not go ahead uh, with the analysis. And if we can't find reasons not to go ahead, double negative, we go ahead. And that's what's happened so far with Metallurgica Gerdau. Uh, and we also learned that Metallurgica Gerdau owns a very large chunk of Gerdau. It's confusing. It is confusing. Um, but that's how they set it up. And at the same time, Gerdau represents a huge part of Metallurgica Gerdau. Okay. So they're like, uh, uh, they're tied by the umbilical cord for sure. So now, before we get too giddy about uh, the, this investment idea, we should go to Gerdau itself since that's the actual company that generates the, the operating profit, so on and so forth, and assess their uh, reality. Let's go. So the latest results we have are from second quarter of 18. It's a good opportunity to, to update this if possible. There you go. And yes, uh, Get Out uh, has the full year's results. So that's nice. Cool. So page 12, let's round it up to 14. Great. So we'll do an analysis of Get Out here just as we start any other analysis. So we'll take a look at net equity. So 25 billion, 939. Um, let me also, okay. So. I'll do some sleight of hands. <clears throat> also forgot the number. 25,939. 25,939. So this is the net, net equity here. So this may look like this company is growing net equity, but it's year over year here. It's certainly not due to the in inflation. All right, so liabilities. Uh, we add current liabilities in this case, 8,504 plus 16,838. So 25,342. So liabilities to equity seem to have come down. Let's see. Huh, that's interesting. <clears throat> I see it there. Yeah, I did. Okay, so onwards to loans. So we also have current and non-current. So short term, long term. 1825 here, right here. Plus 13082. 14907. The debt seems to have dropped. Here it did. Here it did a little bit. Yeah, I have a sense that, hmm, yeah, okay. I, I was trying to quickly see if these no numbers matched the balance sheet year over year. I, they kind of do. Sometimes these numbers get re, re uh, introduced, uh, revised. All right, so what can we ascertain from this so far? A debt to equity of 0 0.57 is ever so slightly above what we really would like, which is from 0 to 0 0.5. So at this level, uh, I don't think uh, this by itself uh, justifies us giving up. No, n by no means. Maybe a sum of factors, and this would be like, oh, okay, not so safe, but we're in safe ground here. Especially if you look at liabilities to equity here, under one, uh, it's always nice to see it that way. And even more so as we have 
a trajectory of improvement over the last few years. So yeah, this, this industry underwent a rough patch there and seems to be recovering as far as their fundamentals here. Okay, onwards. So current ratio, current assets. So 15, no, 17,503 divided by 88,504. So immediately, or 8,503, it doesn't really matter. Uh, <clears throat> immediately, we can see that we are in safe ground because it's above two. So above two is safe ground. Revenue. 46 billion 159 hands. And now owners to earnings, if any. Yes, we have had earnings. 2326. When you're doing the year here, of course, it's always a good idea to come back and take a look here. So minus three, three, nine. <clears throat> and indeed, that's what it is. It's, sometimes these numbers get revised and sometimes they get revised by a lot. Okay, so now we should fix this. So this should be B1. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> excuse me. And let's do free cash flow. So Operating cash flow one two billion rounded up and investment cash flow right here a positive four billion three uh, two billion three eighty three so grand total of four three eight three so uh, a pretty good number as, as far as free cash flow is concerned here with these numbers <clears throat> well we have we can do a lot of things here first let's update the average itself oh okay it's already it's already done for us so an average of 780 million per year over the last 10 years and it's interesting to compare that with their debt so their total debt is 15. So this relationship is really not good. So this is something to behold. Yes, yeah, that can roll a lot of debt. This company has been around for many, many decades. And it, it is the prototypical company that uh, a lender will trust that the company will be able to pay, pay back over time and they can uh, lend quite generously, generously to, to them, both in terms of interest rates and in terms of uh, the time to pay back, really. Uh, so we should be more lenient at the same time, you know, 20 years or like 17 years is a lot. It is a lot. All right, so now we can take a look at the multiple, like at the price, and see what the multiple is here, at least relative to earnings. So, give down market cap. It says here 23 billion. Sometimes I have a 
I don't still don't trust this widget so much, you know. Let's use Bloomberg. Internet slow. I know this is not the most exciting viewership, but it can be really helpful. Uh, mostly for me uh, to begin with. So 23 billion 467. So it's down since last time. Yep, so the multiples, would you buy Gerdau, you know, like at the multiple of 30? I wouldn't, you know, like just run to buy, you know, I wouldn't be too too excited about buying this company. And, uh, however, uh, Metallurgica Gerdau, it's, it's interesting because they will not sell Gerdau anytime soon. Uh, so what they're interested in is the dividends, right? Uh, so we should consider uh, this from a very peculiar perspective. Okay, so in terms of this episode, what is the conclusion? The, the conclusion is always like, okay, do we continue on the company or do, do we give up? And no, we continue on this company, okay? Uh, I, I'm, I'm really talking about Metallurgica Gerdau, but it might uh, be very important to, to really look at the free cash flow here because we may be getting a, a, a wrong picture from the earnings. So in our next episode, we'll complete the free cash flow picture here for 10 years for get, the Gerdau and see where we take it after that. So with that said, thank you very much. Wow, if you, you're still here, uh, I appreciate it. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you're not a subscriber yet, uh, please consider clicking or tapping on the subscribe button so that we uh, develop uh, uh, a relationship here with the videos. Uh, meanwhile, uh, if you have questions, suggestions, criticism, and especially if you spot mistakes in the analysis, please leave a message, leave a comment in the video, and I'll write you back as soon as I can. Uh, meanwhile, have a beautiful day. I hope to see you soon.